never know when we're actually live. It says we're live right now, so we're going to go we with it. We never know. Hi. We never know. So, um, hey, y'all, this is Ashley and Hi. Carrie and Adam with Nights Designs by Adam. That's right, correct? Yes, ma'am, that's correct. Okay. So, we are... Um, okay. Good, Good deal. So Adam's going to do a Halloween swag for us today, and he is using some precious stuff. I am going to take about two seconds. I'm going to click over to our Facebook page and post the link in community so everybody can hop on really quick. And um, if you are not registered with StreamYard, then we can't see your name. So... Um, like somebody says hi, hey, we don't know who you are, but hey, it's okay. You it's don't. good. We don't have to know who you are. We're just happy you're here. That's right. Um, so I'm, hey. hey, Melissa, give me just two seconds. And I know y'all can still see me and I look like I'm crazy right now. No, you're um, right. That's good. <laughs> try to get to our page so I can get this link real quick. This is your favorite part, isn't it? I can't. This makes me a freaking nervous wreck. I don't know what, what you're clicking on. I don't know what's happening. I'm going to send the link. I'm going to click. I can't. Oh, God. I can't hear myself, though, because I sound like a country bumpkin. There we go. So, give me two seconds. I'm almost done. Just want to make sure everybody has what they need. I'm wore out. <laughs> Why will it not? Let, it won't let me send it. So just everybody hold on. Oh, technology. This is the part that I I, I don't like. There I don't go. like having to make people wait. Okay. 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 Hey. Hey, Nick. Hey. Hey, Nikki. Everybody. Okay. So we sent Adam a few things. We sent him a box of stuff and kind of let him pick what he wanted to use. <laughs> Nick, I will teach you five more country terms, I promise, because I know all the country terms. Um, so this is the sign, which is the, um, this is a embossed his shirt. Jack-o-lantern, it does match your shirt. I'm, I'm still mad that I don't have a Halloween no, I shirt on. About that. Um, so we've got this, and I'm going to go in and post the links as soon as he gets started working to all these things. We did not put an actual kit together, so um, you will just be able to buy the products that you want to use. So we've got this cute little embossed jack-o'-lantern. He is precious. Then this awesome houndstooth black and white mesh that is new. Well, I'm, I'm anxious to see you. So I'm it. super excited to see. He locked into this mesh because Carrie ripped it open. I opened it to see Because it. she can't take not seeing the new products. So she opened it, and then there's no way to close this. So she sent that. Then we've got some greenery. Where is that other thing? Oh, that green. Oh, it's back here. This. I don't know what this is. Purple spiky it's grass. Purple purple spiky grass. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's <laughs> not the name of it. But it's kind of got a purplish look to it. And it is a lot of whatever it is. <laughs> I don't know. Spiky grass. Yeah. Then we've got the lime, purple, orange, and black puff balls. Puff, puff balls. <laughs> I love that terminology. Puff puff all the names tonight. And these, I am having so much trouble with the camera. And it's right in the middle of the computer, so I don't know why I'm having trouble with it. I don't it. know. So this, all the sparkly ribbons. Um, so. And the swag. Oh, yeah, this swag. We have that flap that I did not, we did not flirt We didn't. She fluffs. But y'all know that. So, um. I will, like I said, as he works, I will go in and add the links to these products. So they're really easy to add to your cart. <clears throat> Tony. Excuse me. Hey, Tony. <laughs> Tony, Tony does our hair. 
<laughs> look, we're we're walking ad for his hair right now. <laughs> we look, and I'm nice. Look we look this. real good. <laughs> Good thing you didn't do makeup. You'd be real <laughs> disappointed in us. Um, so like I said, Nick with uh, not Nick Adam with Nights Designs by Adam. He has an Etsy page. I will post the link to that. I'm assuming this will be for sale on your Etsy page. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it will. Is that your name? Maybe. Yeah. Yes, it will. I don't think I can hear you. Okay. Yes, it will. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, our sound is gone. Did I do? Oh, I did oh, it. Sorry, uh, okay. that's my bad. I did it. <laughs> no uh, worries. It's because I was trying not to hear me. Hear okay. Yes, it will. Yep. Oh, it's it's because I, I have it pulled up on oh. Facebook. Give me two. Sorry. Whew. That was a whole hot second of me talking. <laughs> I wouldn't listen to me either. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Hey, I can't stand it. I sound so stupid. <laughs> Wow. I bet I, I bet people think I am dumb. Yeah. D-U-M-E. <laughs> she she, she, she dumb. Okay, sorry. So okay. So we're gonna turn it over to Adam um and let him do his thing. And I'm gonna get on here and post the links and I'll be watching for questions. I'll pop those up on the screen. Um, answer what I can. Um say hello again, Carrie. Hey. I think I think they may be making fun of your accent. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, know, I, need to, I know I need to hush. All right. So let me try to figure out how to make you big. <laughs> so I lay out. There you go. All right, guys. Here's Adam. Hi, everyone. Welcome. So today we're going to be doing this fun swag. Um, as she mentioned below, you can find all of the products here at Trendy Tree. We love Trendy Tree and all their products. Uh, so I have the black swag behind me. I went ahead and fluffed it out. Um, so let me show you what it looks like all fluffed out. All right. Uh, when you get it uh, from Trendy Tree, it'll be flat like they showed you. And then you're just going to just take your branches and kind of fluff them out. It's like doing a Christmas tree. That's basically what this is. Um, it's just black and it's one sided, obviously, because it's flat on the back. Okay, so I'm going to hang that on my board here. And then we are going to open up our mesh. And I'm not measuring my mesh pieces. I'm just kind of kind of going for it. So I think that looks about the right size. And what we're going to do is I'm going to cut pieces, individual pieces, and this is what we're going to put into the mesh for our base. And then we're going to curl the ends a little bit, and then we're going to pinch it in the middle, kind of like a bow or a bow tie. Yeah, that works. I like that. A bow tie. Perfect. And then we're going to use our branches because they are wired and bendable. We're going to grab two twists and that will secure the mesh. And now we're going to go down one side and then up the other. Yes, this mesh is thick. It's wonderful to work with, actually. So thank you, Trendy Tree, for these amazing products. And again, cut a piece, curl the ends, pinch the middle like a bow tie. And there you go. And we're going to work our way down. Now you could do two types of mesh. You could do um, orange with this, with this black and white uh, houndstooth. Uh, you could do green. You could do um, orange and black. Whatever colors you decided to do or to use. And what this does is it, it's, it's like a support system for the rest of the stuff. So I'm just going to keep checking my little iPad over here to make sure that there's not any questions. And then Ashley and Carrie, if Carrie is still there, she can, Ashley and Carrie will be happy to answer any questions 
too as well. I know it's summer, y'all, but Halloween is around the corner. I think there's only like 80-something days till Halloween, so it's coming quick. Soon it will be the holiday season, Christmas time. I know those that are up north are not looking for it because of the cold weather and the snow. But I'm well, here. Here in the south, we can't wait. We're yeah. hot. Okay, okay. You can't <laughs> wait. All right. Well, here we don't get no snow. It is sun 24-7. I wish that we had... So when I was a kid in the late 90s, the like October, end of October, it would get cooler here in Florida. Not super cool, but, you know, cool to us. So we could wear our Halloween costumes without having to sweat to death. Not anymore. These poor kids trick-or-treating here in Florida, and they're drenched in sweat. No snow. Somebody said no snow. Okay. <laughs> So you're just going to keep working this down. And again, I'm not really measuring it. And I'm just curling in the ends, pinching it in the middle. Now down here towards the bottom, because it narrows down, everyone, I'm going to actually take my poofs or bow ties, and I'm going to go down just the center through here. But on the side going up where it gets thicker, I will run it through the, uh, the sides. So a nice little tip. As you get down towards the bottom here, <clears throat> you can just do it down the center because there's not enough branches on each side uh, to do it on each side. So you can just do it down the middle, easy peasy. And then as you get closer towards the top and middle, you can do it on the side like I did on the other side. And curl those in, bow tie it. Okay, and I'm just going to do a tiny one down at the bottom here, and then we'll work going back up. Any questions? No? Okay. So I've got a tiny one down here. Back to the top. Okay. And work our way back down. Now the reason why I'm using the mesh is to make it fuller. And it also is a support system for our jack-o'-lantern. So when we secure him here he has sticks out just a tiny bit more versus just laying super flat if we didn't put the mesh there 
If you didn't want to use uh, mesh throughout the whole design, you could have just done mesh in one area behind the pumpkin. But I wanted some of this pop of black and white um, peeking through all of the picks and greenery that we'll be using. And again, you can purchase this on Trendy Tree. They'll have all the links posted for you. And there's other many different products on there you could use. They have some really cute signs. Uh, they have a trick-or-treat one with a spider. They have um, another one that's got like orange glitter on it. That's super cute. Um, oh my goodness, there's countless signs that you can choose. You don't have to choose the jack o lantern one. I chose the jack o lantern because pumpkins are my favorite during this time of the year. I actually collect them because my birthday is the day after Halloween. I am on November the 1st. So Halloween uh, is special to me and my family because my birthday and then I have an aunt. My mother's sister is born on Halloween. So it's become this big family shindig. <laughs> I bet y'all have the best Halloween birthday parties. We did. We did. I, there are so many different birthday cakes we had as a kid. Um, you name it. We had, we had a lady that was close to the family, and she did this amazing cake that kind of looked like my Wicked Wanda back here that I made. Okay. It was so cute. Yeah, it was a witch that she had made out of cake. I couldn't believe it. I, I love Halloween. I do too. Me too. Well, you guys have amazing weather during that time, so it really feels like Halloween. We do. Sometimes it's hot. Okay. okay. Sometimes it's still warm. You have to be careful buying the kids' costumes. You don't yeah. want them. No flannel, nothing that's no. like super hot. I have teenagers, so it's worked out great for them because, you know, they... Yes. I wear they, a shirt and, they're, and a pillowcase, and they're good. Yes. Yeah. They're they're fine. Yes. The littles are the ones you gotta watch. Yes. Yes. Me too, Melissa. I love fall. I love, I love fall. fall. Is anyone else ready for Starbucks pumpkin coffee? I totally am. I don't like pumpkin. You don't like pumpkin? What do you like? I just like coffee. You just like coffee. Just okay, that works too. I have four kids. Just give me all the coffee. Give you all the coffee. Coffee in the morning and beer in the afternoon. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> hey, sometimes that's the only peaceful spot in the house. That is true. Okay. I think we got one more little area. Sorry, we're not sure. We're not muted. All right, so now that we have this filled out, I will take it off the stand so you can see it up close. It is now nice and lush and full, ready for all of our other florals. I love that mesh. It looks so good. Yes, it's beautiful. It's thick, like somebody... Uh, posted about it is thick which is what i love about it and so you don't need you know this is all one roll did this whole entire 30 36 inch right guys right yes yeah. 36 inch one roll 10 inch roll of pounds tooth mesh did this whole entire thing with no measuring <laughs> with no measuring that's pretty impressive no measuring that's what I told her as soon as I muted the mic. I was Mike. I was like, "Okay, he's winging it. I like that." Yes, yes. I don't. I don't measure. Um, even as a hairdresser, I don't measure sometimes. <laughs> Listen, he probably looked at our hair and thought, God, poor, to to "Poor Tony." <laughs> no, actually, your hair looks really good. Your coloring looks great. Your cut looks great. Well, I actually go in the morning and get it done and i've already texted tony and said i'm over the blonde and I, I need my dark hair back oh it's time for a fall change it's, yeah. it's time for fall so we have our lovely pumpkin i love this pumpkin love 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 this pumpkin um don't hesitate to buy it it reminds me of the old school 
uh, vintage retro pumpkins because it has an embossed look to it. Um, and it comes with a hanger. I don't know if you guys can, let me turn my light. There we go. At the top here, it comes like with a um, sawtooth hanger, but I just took some floral wire and wrapped around and we're gonna wire it into the back of the swag. And that's what's gonna secure it, okay? You could also um, use your, I guess you call them like zip, zip tie, little sticky things. Oh, the little mounts? Yes, little mounts, perfect. That's what the word I'm looking for. And you could have easily mounted that on there and zip tied it in as well too. But I'm improvising, so. They love this live format. They wish we did this more. Oh, good. We're we've we've got some we've got some different ideas we're working on to kind of do some more things like this because we don't really make the because things. Because I don't I won't create. Carrie won't create. Not can't, but won't. Mm, I like it. Um, there's also it. one trendy tree you could have done. So instead of doing black, um, so a really trendy color. Haha, no pun intended. Um, is red for Halloween. Uh, trendy. Really? Yes, burgundy red. Uh, Trinity Tree has some red ones like the black base. Yeah. Could have done red um, with the black and white hounds too. How cool would have that looked? That would be cool. Yeah. Tammy says she would love more lives. Oh, yeah. Carrie. Okay. I'm on it. Carrie is, can be difficult about a live. I do not like a live. She does not like it. <laughs> I don't know why she's precious. Oh. It's wired in really like cute. So cute. I like, I like a swag. What I'm going to do is make a bow for the top and then one underneath here, and then we'll add some streamers. And so I'm going to be working with all wired ribbon. That's the only ribbon I work with, even at Christmas time. And, and, with us, if it's not wired, it will say it's exactly. it, it will say in the title that it's not absolutely because so, most everything we carry will be wired. Yeah, so this holds its shape really, really well. Easy, easy. Okay, so this is the two and a half inch striped black and orange with a white stripe that I'll be using. And then let me open up the other ones. And this is the two and a half uh, orange, purple, and green stripe. It's glitter. And then it has the black and white stripe edging, which I love. I which, love that one. Yes, it ties into our hound's tooth perfectly. And then for a little glam, I love metallics with Halloween and fall. So this is a one and a half inch wired uh, glittered silver striped ribbon. Metallics are really hot this season, both for Halloween, fall, and Christmas. Um, so don't be afraid to make silvers or gold into your Halloween designs too. They Metallics were everywhere at market. Yes, yes. Um, loving the, um, the blue is still trending, but I see a lot yes. of blue with the metallics. Love it. I think it's gorgeous. We have one ribbon. I'm, I packed a lot of it today. Different colors, but with the metallic kind of embossed looking leaves on it for fall. Yes. And and mustards and rusts and blues and so pretty. Yes. That is going to be hot, hot, hot. So all I'm doing is making a, a handmade bow. You can use a bow maker. I used to be a florist in high school, so it's just easier for me to make it by hand. So all I'm going to do is pretty side up. I'll get closer to the cam camera. Pretty side up. Pinch it between your index and thumb finger. Form a loop, however big you want your, your loop, your starting loop. And pinch and twist behind that. And then there's your first loop. And then you're going to twist to break the pretty side back to you. If you had a ribbon that had another backing to it. Some ribbons have a double sided. So let's just say this had a green on one side. Then you could leave it green if you wanted to. 
Um, but in this case, it doesn't. So you want to make sure you twist and you make the pretty side towards you. And now I'm going to bunny, bunny ear it to make sure that it's kind of even. And then pinch in between my index and thumb finger. So now we have a nice size bow to start with. And then I'm going to twist again to make sure the pretty side is up. Bunny ear it. And then twist it again for a tail. Hey, Miss Jeannie. Hi, Miss Jeannie. Now we're going to take our one and a half inch wired with the silver glitter. Index finger, pinch. Twist a little bit. Okay. And then sometimes I make my uh, loops uh, smaller than my first loops because I'm, I'm backwards. I start with the back first and then work forward. Some people work forward and then go backwards. However you want to do it, whatever's most comfortable for you. Um, but in this case, I work from the back and start forward. So I make them just a tiny bit smaller as I'm going. Barb, I just checked your um, voicemail. And I haven't sent you your invoice yet, but I'll get it to you before I go home. Sorry about that. So I have three loops of the silver and the black. And now we're going to come in with our two and a half striped Halloween green and orange and purple. Give it a slight twist. Inch in between your index and thumb. Yeah. Okay, Maggie. Am I, am I muted? Nope. Okay. Not everything. She's just Maggie. Maggie. Sweet Maggie. And sometimes it likes to fold up on you. That's okay. He hand ties his bows too. Oh, he's fancy. He's fancy. I, I do, yeah. It's just easier for me. Working when I was in high school and we worked as a uh, I worked as a florist. It was just easy. Yeah. Uh, Valentine's. You can, always, you can always pick out a florist because they want to hand tie those oh, bows. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. At Valentine's Day, oh my goodness, I can't tell you how many that we made the night before and then stuck up on some styrofoam and oh, like yeah. <laughs> tons of them, red, pink, you name it. Oh my goodness. All the bows. All the bows. So then I'm just going to take some wire, some floral wire. I have about an 18 gauge, but you can use um, any thickness. Um, I typically like a little thicker of wire. You could also use a zip tie. Um, I see a lot of designers using zip ties and that's perfectly okay too. I do on occasion. Um, of course, I old school habits die hard. So I'm using old school floral ribbon, I mean wire. And I'm just giving that a nice twist. And then now we can wire it to the top here. So this biggest bow is gonna go at the top. I need y'all to know that Carrie's over here showing me snack food. <laughs> snack food. She's apparently hungry. I'm not hungry. I just saw caramel. Caramel. I love a good snack food. What are you snacking on, Carrie? Well, I'm not, but I have found a recipe for a caramel, salted caramel pecan cheesecake dip. And I'm, I'm thinking I'm just going to save this little link and send her right on down to the Jenny. Hold on, mama. You got some something coming. I'm it's there. Coming. Just tell me when you're going to make it. I'll be there. And, and it's got, you can eat it with like apples or like vanilla wafers. Um, Yeah. Yes. I need some of that. I'm there. I love a dip anyway. Mm. Okay. The uh, Christmas, uh, the Debbie Christmas cake one dip. 
We yeah, keep, I had it last people year. keep the little Debbie Christmas cakes up here at the shop, and it is not good for the shorts and the blue jeans to fit the rear end. I, I love them though. Because I'm a sucker for a Christmas cake. I love little Debbie. Yes. Big Deborah, that's me. Big Deborah. Here I come. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Somebody said the other day we could not go back to the old days of hunting because they didn't even know where to find little Debbie. I know. I don't know didn't where know where she, she lives. Yeah, exactly. All right, so now let me have our our bow there. We're just gonna snip the. You can either dovetail, and what I mean by dovetail is you fold it in half, and then you point it the scissor out, and it creates a V shape. Or you can cut it at an angle, or you can roll it. Like you could take this one long one and roll it. Good. I like that one rolled. I can't download a PDF, but I can forward a recipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know what you were fixing to uh, say. This is kind of like having you on speakerphone. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm... All right. So there's one, and then we'll do another one down here with some tails coming down. So I'm going to take my... I'm going to take this green, orange, and purple with the black and white edges and form a bow for down here. So I'm just kind of measuring just to see how wide I want it. That looks good. Funny ears. Any questions? No okay. questions right now. Lots of people say it's a beautiful bow. Oh, thank you. Barb made 300 bows for a fundraiser event. Yes, yes. Jeannie's, that must be Jeannie. This comment is trendy tree now. She's trying to cast Adam to the TV so she can see better. Oh, Lord. <laughs> And then we're going to go in with our silver and black. And I'm going to make those loops a tiny bit shorter. Nancy is asking if there's a way that you can zoom in some. She's having a hard time seeing the wreath. There we go. That should help with making it a little bit bigger. How's that, guys? That's I good. think that's better. And then some floral wire. Twist, and we're going to put this right underneath our pumpkin. Miss Jeannie, did you get it on your TV? <laughs> she said she got it. Oh, I she missed got the something. got it. <laughs> He's cute. He's cute. I know. I like the little cricket. All right, so we got our smaller bow here, and then we can just cut our tails here. You know, we sent him some good stuff. Never do. I like it. 
You I picked out some good stuff. I picked out some good stuff. Carrie picked out some great stuff. Baby, Carrie didn't pick out nothing. She <laughs> yeah, that was good to me, did it? <laughs> she gets the final say. She gets the final cred? Okay. She does. So then I'm going to take our one and a half and our green, orange, and purple stripe together. And we're going to pinch it at the top here. And we're going to take this and go underneath the bow, grab those black ties, the pine ties, and twist them together to basically attach it. And this creates like a streamer effect. Okay, and then make sure it's loose. You don't want it super tight. And I kind of do mine kind of off to the center. And then you're gonna use another of those eyes. These little loopy things are so cute. They are cute. And then we're going to pull this over to this side. And then we're going to create another loop. Sorry, I moved the camera. Sorry about that. And then one going off to the side and down. So I have a question. Do you always stand when you make things? Um, for the most part, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think it's a hairdresser thing. <laughs> Could be. Well, that's right. I forgot. He, I forgot. Uh, sometimes I will uh, sit, especially if I'm doing like a centerpiece. I may, um, I may sit to do a centerpiece. I just think my back would hurt. Yes. But I guess if you do hair all day, then. Yeah, You're make, sure, make sure you have good shoes. <laughs> All right, so we have our ribbon in. And so it starts from the top, large, medium, and then working smaller. Because we do want to keep that teardrop shape a little bit here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add our greenery. What I love about the greenery that they sent me is that you get multiples out of it. So this is the purpley kind of grass looking one. I just call it purple grass spike, something like that. See? See, that's what I said. It reminds me of um, the greenery that a lot of the landscapers will use here in Florida that loves the heat. Um, but I love this purple. I love it. Um, so multiples and you're just gonna take some wire cutters um, and just cut that off. You can, I've even done it where you can, this slides down. Let me show you, these are sliders. So the little limbs on it, if I can get it to cooperate. Let me do it on the green one, it's easier. So on the green one, if you just slide these down, see, yeah. I sliders. So what you can do is take, slide some up, some down, cut it in the middle, and then slide this up ever so slightly and take your wire cutters or pliers and bend it down and you've got two pieces of greenery out of one stem. Huh. So then you get multiples out of this. You know, it hadn't been long ago, somebody called up here and asked if the greenery slid up and down like that. And I had no clue what they were asking I me about. I was like, I, I don't know. <laughs> yep, sliders, I call them sliders. Okay. Sliders, now huh. all greenery is created equal. Um, there's a, there's, this is what we would call a bush. Yeah. And these are stems. It's one stem and it has multiple things on it. Sorry, that has a glare on it from the bag. This is a stem because it's a stem, one single stem and it has multiples on it. Um, and then there are sprays and sprays generally have multiple on one stem, um, is how we used to categorize it. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to take some 
I have a hot glue skillet. You can use a glue gun. Um, I am using Oasis floral glue, but you can use, I've used Gorilla hot glue. Make sure it's high temperature. And this uh, skillet you can get from any of your um, doors or off of Amazon. I just have an eight inch skillet um, and you want to make sure that it's kind of a little gooey in the pot. And I'm just going to dip my stems in it. I have that sewn all over the county. You would. Yes, I make sure you have a cutting mat um, yeah. down or a piece of wood. I have a piece of wood underneath my skillet too. And I just dipped it, the stem in the glue, and then we can adhere it into our swag. Cute. So I'm going to start with the green first. And kind of build a base going on. I love that hound's tooth. And really, I just sent it to kind of be funny. It's just because I had couldn't do anything it. else with yeah. it. But I love it in there. We've kind of gone through your page. We're a little stalkerish. That's all right. And noticed that we didn't really see anything with mesh. So I was like, eh, let's send him some other stuff. And then we had that laying here. And Carrie was like, here, just put that in the box. So And I like it. I really like it. I do use mesh sometimes on occasion. Um, I'm old school. Again, um, you know, you use a lot of florals. Uh, right. That's, of course, that's the florist talking to me. But... Uh, mesh has become really popular, just like uh, ribbon. It's super inexpensive, and it fills out your design really well. Right. Um, and again, it adds a little color, too. So even though I'm adding things to it, you can kind of see it peeking through here and there. I like it. I do, too. Are you doing your exercises? Well, well I'm, 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 I'm tired of sitting down, so I had to stand okay. up. Nana, I can't see. <laughs> Too old. I have to get close. And then we're just going to work it down now, so I have my shape at the top. I'm ready to see those purple things. Yeah. Add next. I am. I think it's cool. I like it. I picked it. True. Any questions? Not that I see. Okay. So we're investigating the purple spiky thing. It's not a slider, apparently, right? It is a slider, but it's just oh. a little difficult. That's all. Okay. It's a little, the plastic on it, um, it's high quality and it's thick, which is right. great. Ah, oh, got it. But it makes it a pain in the you-know-what to slide. Uh, yeah, I see. We see now. We're playing with it over here. <laughs> actually is. I think the color is just so pretty. It is pretty. Um, it would the purple would make uh, would be great for fall too. Yeah, um, purple color. Um, I love purple at fall. Oh. Taylor, Taylor, my, my Taylor is logged into Trendy Tree. Um, the link, the, it came from Trendy Tree. The, the product link is up. Where is it actually? Yeah, up that, in the feed. It's somewhere. in the feed. Um, I posted all of the links in the feed. Um, so you should be able to find it up there. If you can't, you can go to TrendyTree.com and it is MD0617. So then now let's add our purple. Oh, yay. And I did slide it up. So I just love that. Yes, it gives it a very wispy. 
very spider-like for Halloween. Yes. Without all the webs. Right, with all the nastiness. I had to. I went in there in the in the front room this morning or today sometime to get something, and I opened the book, and there was a spider crawling out, and I oh, had no, a whole ma'am. big slamming and slapping, and I killed. I got her. Um, well, typically, daddy long legs that are in our house here, I don't necessarily. Right, know. but this right now. This was not that. This was huh? not that. This it, was a, it was an ugly one. <laughs> yeah, it was one of them. That, no, he looked angry, and I was not going to deal with him. So I smashed him with a book and moved on about my day. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, done. I think every employee we have is All common as Trinity Tree. <laughs> I can't <laughs> figure out from my phone when I go to Trinity Tree's page to right. watch something like this, it automatically changes me to Trinity Tree. And then I can't make it not. I know. I'm I, sure. I, sometimes I just want to be me. Nah. <laughs> nah. Once, you, once you're in the Trinity Tree login, you're stuck. Stuck with y'all forever. <laughs> but I may need this for my door. I like it. I like the swag. I like a swag. I didn't know that I did, but I do. Um, yeah, I never. Maybe because they elongate your door. Yeah. And those people with the skinny doors. Yes. They I'm, get two reads. Right. You know, a mesh read can just get. She just gets big. They just get big. They do. The more the more mesh you add to it, the bigger it does get. Yes. So, for example, I cut that one in two. So, I've got two. I've got one here and one here. And then you see this little nub in the center here. We're mm -hmm. just gonna take it and we're gonna bend it over so the stems don't fall off of it. Oh. Huh. I never knew. I didn't know until we way into this business that you could cut the that you could cut the bushes up. Yeah. Like, I just I didn't I'm not a designer. I just thought you just plopped over <laughs> <and it's laughs> plopped it. Plopped <laughs> it and it's done, right? No. And maybe why we don't make things. <laughs> Pop it in and you thought you were done. I was just done. I mean, she's pretty, but just plop her in there and then call it a day. I am absolutely about to burn up. I thought I was cold in there. That one's not that bad. I put it on white noise. You can put it on whatever you want, but I need a box. Refresh. That's my saying. <laughs> I, I really like that purple grass stuff. It, it just gives it a different so whimsical it's almost like alice in wonderland goes halloween she yeah. all right so we've used uh both bushes okay now we're going to add some fun whimsy to it so i've got this ball spray puff balls puff balls <laughs> <laughs> everything needs puff balls right um, kind of remind me of Cheetos. I know those, you know, those big Cheetos that you get in the big plastic tub. Yes, absolutely. I love those. Me too. Um, I think I just think, that one face. I, think it's just I mean, we got leopard pumpkins. We got polka dot pumpkins. Yes, you can use any type of pumpkins. You could do the same thing, but for fall, if you wanted to. Yep. Just any type of um, design. You could put your fall pumpkin here, take your fall ribbon, um, Make your bow, take your thing, purple and green, um, and then add your um, fall leaves with it if you wanted to. And then um, there you go, you got it. And some mesh, and maybe some fun fall picks like some gold or um, teal is really hot for fall.
I don't know who's talking, your mom or Taylor. The barrel of Cheetos. You know, that's what Whit Coon likes. He tells me he's out of Cheetos, and I bring him a big. My kids act like when you bring those home, it's like I know. they're off brand something and they won't eat them. Oh my God. My kids will not eat those balls but in the, the big the, plastic. The brand is like U U T Z or something. Yeah. And in, in, in Easter, they have bunny tails or bunny butts or bunny <laughs> bunny balls. I don't know what they are, but they're Stop. white. They're like white cheddar. And like I, I clean out the rack every time I go because even mm. even sweet Taylor loves it. They sound, they, sound they sound great. They are good. They're white cheddar, and oh my goodness, they're in this little blue bag, and it's these little bunny. It's so they so Are you hungry? I'm always hungry. <laughs> I'm always One hungry. About when we do go on vacation up north, we tend to go to the mountains a lot. Uh, huh? We go to um, to Pigeon Forge and that area a lot. I love huh? foods that I can't get here. Um, in Florida. Oh, yeah. Well, when I go there, I like to go to Fanny Farkles and get me a corn dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like Fanny Farkles, too. Gotta love a good corn dog. Gotta. Now, do you, now here's the million-dollar question. Do you like mustard or ketchup on your... Mustard. Ketchup. Ketchup. Mustard. That's nasty. Nobody wants to ketchup on a hot dog. Or... No. Let me tell you what this fool does. <laughs> okay, so... so we go to the Sonic about once a week, and this girl will order a cheese coney, <laughs> you know, hot dog with chili cheese on it. Fool takes the hot dog out. She don't eat the wiener. I don't like the hot dog. She just wants the bun with chili and cheese. <laughs> but they say you can't, they won't give it to you without the hot dog because I've asked. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I have to get the coney and then take pull that, waiter pull out. that big old long <laughs> hot dog. <laughs> Hope I don't drop it in my lap. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, you like what you like. I, I like what I like. I don't like that. Sometimes I like to get onions on it too. If I get onions on it, then I like the hot dog in it. Oh my God. Now, That's do you like your onions grilled or raw? Uh, I, they're raw on that, but I like mm -hmm. onions either way. I do Anyway, so we're just bake, uh, breaking this down. This spray, this puff ball spray. You could use any of the uh, trendy tree uh, sprays that they have for Halloween. Um, a really hot color for Halloween and Christmas is pink. Yeah. I, I personally am not a pink fan, but I do like hot pink at Halloween. So you could do hot pink. I have we the pink coming. It's, it's shipping now. We have the hot pink flopped pumpkin right. that you yes. could put in a wreath. We yes. also have got the hot pink witch hat in. Yeah. That would look fabulous. Um, and then we've got some pumpkins coming that, are pastel. that are pastel colors. Pink and blue and maybe green. They were kind of a strange. Yeah. Go. And we didn't order a lot of that stuff because we were kind of thrown by the colors. But I know that Babam. Yes, Babam reads a lot and she loves she a lot of the pastel stuff. It, it was very cute, but we were Carrie got I had the COVID. Got I think COVID go. the day that we were supposed to be flying out. So it was a different market. Um the like, base is it's 28 inch 36. 36 inch, I think. I think it's a 36 inch black. 36, yes, black. black swag. Black. Mm -hmm. And the link's posted to it back in the comments. Um, so if you miss those links, you can scroll back and see that. This is so cute. I know, I love it. Now, you could also use um, ornaments in this. Don't be afraid. Ornaments are just for Christmas. Or you can, you can use smaller pumpkins down through here. That would look cute as well.
right? So that is one, two of the tough ball trays. And I'm going to use my absolute favorite. So that's cute. I, I love, that. love these. And these you can shape. They have wire in them. So you can shape them to your liking or pull them apart or do a little uh, more of like a candy cane look if you wanted. That's one of my favorite things we have right now. That's great. That's uh -huh. black and white. I love anything black and white. I love black and white. Me too. It can be very neutral and or it can be very expressive and bam. You let it get hot it in here. Hot. And I believe, ladies, you have other black and white ones as well in your shop. I'm sure. We, I know we have the felt curly the black ones. and white curly felt ball spray that's really cute. Then we've got that solid black velvet curly spray. But yeah, black and white is pretty much a staple. We're we're pretty much gonna keep that all the time. It has gotten really popular at Easter. Really? Oh yes. Okay, I can kind of see that. Kind of said before, very Alice in Wonderland. Oh. I I don't think we have that exact thing in any other colors. Um, it's kind of you can't really tell it on um on the live but it's kind of sequined it is kind of it is sequenced yes yes so we don't have anything else exactly like that now we do have the frizzy curly picks in every color you could even possibly imagine so but if you go to the website and you just search um curly picks then that's gonna pretty much pull up what we have as far as something like that goes Well, now I'm ready for Halloween. I'm always ready for Halloween. Right? Who's ready for that candy? That absolutely. The what? Candy. Mm hmm What y'all uh, say candy? Mm. Oh, that's hard. I'm just gonna go real basic. Smarties are my favorite candy. Really? Yes. Okay. Uh, Twizzler. Ooh. Twizzler. Okay. I love Twizzler. I love those little Twizzlers in the Halloween candy because it's not so big. And they, I love a twist. It's like eating a piece of wax. I like it. A okay. piece of wax. <laughs> and I like anything peanut butter. Peanut butter. I love anything peanut butter and chocolate. So Reese's are a favorite for mine. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah that's my kid's favorite, so I never get that. Maybe I like the Smarties because that's what's always left. I love paydays, too. Oh, I like a payday. I too. like a payday. All right, so there we have it. Oh, it's I so love cute. it. I love that. Aww. And um, I might add some pumpkins later through here, or you could do ornaments. You could add another bow if you want down here. I just thought adding another pumpkin down here to match this one, maybe a smaller one, would be great. Um, you can take the same design, everyone, and duplicate it for fall or Christmas. Um, yep. You could do a um, red pine base and do uh, like a candy cane um, kind of look. Maybe a Santa Claus sign. That is really cute. Didn't even know I liked the swag. Me either, but I'm 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 sold. I'm sold. You're, I like it. You're swag now, a swagger. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a swagger. I'm a swag. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Let me pop Carrie back up here. Oh, hold on, let me get down here to the. Oh, wait here. <laughs> Just, oh, Lord have mercy. That is so cute. Yeah, I, I thought I that. I need that. Bring the camera back so you can see it all. Let me move oh, this. it's so cute. Is that a black cat in the corner? It is a black cat, yes. Let me see. Oh, oh, I love those. I've seen those. They had a very similar at Glitterville, the flocked ones. And, you know, yeah, give them to that to so basically, the base of this is um, a foam pumpkin. Mm -hmm. you got bunch of foam pumpkins. All I did was spray the gaps and cracks on the top of it and then set mm -hmm. that right on top of the gaps and cracks. It will actually seal it together like glue that's and cute. you pull your florals in between it. Oh, that's cute. That's bad cute. I like that cat. The cat has that retro big yes. face. I like it. That's I, cute. I actually have three cats, so. I yeah, I have one. Dogs and cats. I had a half wolf and German shepherd and I also had a chihuahua growing up with cats, obviously. Too. Ah, I have a cat. I have a cat named Stuffins because we found her in the plush container out here, locked from her mom. And then I have two, two dogs. I have a big Bruno that's a golden doodle, is 120 pounds. And then I have an itty bitty Saint Poodle who's about 10 pounds. And they're I my sweeties. I love them. Golden doodle. Absolutely mm -hmm. beautiful. Well, this is beautiful and it's been fun and I appreciate you so much. Oh, no, thank you so much. And like I said, like the lady said, you can find all of these and more on Trendy Tree. Um, you could do, like I said, you could do a trick or treat um, if you want more of like a kid friendly or even the Jack Lantern's kid friendly as well. You could do something even spookier and do a skull um, with the uh, red pine back. Mm -hmm. Do like a red, black and white with a, a skull or a skeleton. That would look like really cool. Um, you could, there's multiple different options. It's cute. Sounds cute. All right. We are, it's the middle of the night for us. I mean, really, it's only seven o'clock, but you know, we're old. <laughs> Tired. So we're going to go. The links are posted. You can watch the replay if you want to go back and watch the whole thing. Um, so. Everybody have a great evening. Adam, I will get with you tomorrow and talk about getting you some more stuff. Um, Y'all have a great day. If you have questions, email info at trendytree.com. I can't see myself that way. <laughs> Bye, Bye y'all. Have a great night. Have some wine. You too.